Good morning, South Africa, and welcome to True State of the Nation, where we take an honest look at what is happening in our country. Today I would like to ask the question, why do we keep voting for liars and charlatans? The Springboks winning the World Cup for the fourth time has united South Africans, and this has infuriated our number one race hustler, Julius Malema. Malema not only told his supporters that the Springbok badge is a symbol of white supremacy, he also told the bold-faced lie that rugby was invented by black South Africans and stolen by the whites. Rugby is not a white man's sport. They found it here. Our people in the Eastern Cape and everywhere else played rugby long before these people played rugby. But in case you were wondering, the game of rugby was invented at rugby school in Warwickshire, England in 1823. Malema is talking absolute rubbish, as usual. He is making a claim that is not based on any facts, evidence or merit. And he is telling this lie with the sole purpose of creating racial division in the country. So my question to EFF voters is this. If we know for a fact that Malema lies to you about the things we can prove are lies, how can you have any faith that he isn't lying to you about everything else? And why would you waste your vote on a proven liar? And then there's the ANC and its delusional Secretary General. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and this picture perfectly illustrates how out of touch the ANC truly is with ordinary South Africans. Fakila Mbalula was photographed arriving at the World Cup final, graced like a 20-year-old American rapper. Now personally, I think he looked more like a mixture of a circus clown and a banana. But it's not his sense of style that annoys me. It's the fact that he attended a function representing South Africa in this Halloween costume that cost more than 27,000 rand. Now I don't care what he does with his own money, but how out of touch with the lives of ordinary South Africans must this man be to flaunt his wealth by wearing an outfit that costs more than some South Africans make in an entire year. The ANC was elected on the promise of making the lives of ordinary South Africans better. But while ordinary South Africans struggle to afford even basics like food, the ANC Secretary General prances around in his designer outfit. And if this represents the ANC's idea of good financial management, then it's no wonder that the ANC has bankrupted the country. But let me know in the comments what you think, and please like and subscribe, and let's get South Africa talking.